point where it's my seat. Oh, it is. Ah, hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jacob Henry, and this is my short film, my short low budget documentary based of documentary for my film site class, for my film site class. So, besides the whole point of this being like a really bad, the little parts of a really bad documentary, it's the best I can work with, and I apologize if, if a lot of this kind of a lot of people think this is kind of boring or it's a waste of time, but hey, nothing. something's better than nothing. So, what is my topic anyways? Well, my topic is the study, is the study of, of creatures whose existence is either fact or fiction, and it's most of lead to be something of out of world extent. These creatures are known as cryptids, which is based off the study of Cryptozoans, which was founded back in 1955 by Bernard Simmons, I think. I think I'm saying his name wrong, I have his name written down here. Bernard... Oh, Bernard Holmesson was the... was the name to that, but... Uh, um... Cryptozoans was... Cryptozoans has a long history, and it's been dated back to the 15th century when Queen... What's your name? Uh, Queen... Queen Hasbent... Hasbent's expedition to the Red Sea, where it's... Where she founded these drawings and art, which when she came back, she brought in some drawings and, like, mostly cave art of, of unique-looking creatures, most... most undoubtedly being... one of them being the woolly... the extinct woolly mammoth. Which, that's really not too much to that. But, um, what really, I just want to really, what really is, what really excites me about cryptology is something that I've always been interested in. Since, it's the whole unique fact about these fascinating and most, and on most occasions creepy, creepy looking mother effing creature, mother effing creatures are are really in this world and we have not and we have nothing we know nothing not that much about these and it's just so interesting to study these things because we don't know because it's just the whole unknown factor of what these things are and I really think it's kind of makes the world has a whole kind of myst mystery mystic feel to the world since the world's basically like the ocean we know a lot about it but still, at the same time, we don't know everything about it. And that's what really comes to that, because these creatures open up so many opportunities to new theories of how evolution is, how the world started, and just how... Just how... How unique these... Unique the world truly is. Um, some big names you might might recognize for cryptology is usually involves creatures like that's my dog over there. Um it usually oh hold on a sec. Come on. Come on. I ain't thought of I'm not gonna do that now, but um I guess like I was saying, um big famous names most people mo Big famous names that are associated with cryptology are usually kind of rounded out with Bigfoot, your Loch Ness Monsters, the Elm Tree Recovers, your Wolfman, your Wolfmans, your Goatmans, your Dogmans, um, your Jersey Devils, and etc. And you could also kind of count aliens and that, but that's really besides the point there. Um, to round this out, because I think I've got my point across about what makes uh, crypto, uh, cryptozoology so interesting, so interesting point. I've decided to do some studying of a big, big example of one of one of these cre of one of the most known creatures that most known creature that has been studied by cryptology. That creature is very unique in a way, which I mean this whole thing is unique. Um, the creature is known as the moth 
Preachers is called by many as the Mothman, which may sound a bit, may sound really kind of kid-like or friendly-like or not intimidating, but truly when you see the, what this creature is possibly capable of, you may be changing your opinion on it. So, the Mothman is essentially this human-like, this human-like creature they said to have a giant wingspan, it can fly very fast, and and it's said to be said to be so fast I can keep up with a car while in in air. And some of its other features have described some as most witnesses say that is usually has black brown fur and also most commonly red eyes. The most people kind of disregard this as disregard the owl man as just a giant barn owl or some other type of flying creature some type some other type of bird which can be assumable but some of other but if this was such a fake creature why would it have a statue in West Virginia in its most common sites West Virginia in Italy in West Virginia has his own statue, which you can actually go and look up right now. And I think the one thing that is so interesting from Mothman is the possible kind of ties he has with the paranormal side. What I mean by this is I don't exactly remember the dates, but um, there's a very famous image of this bridge that bridge of one day, which is which started out as this. As a, famous, as a bridge down there that ended up collapsing one day. Well, what made this bridge, what made this whole case so not so weird is, is that a few days, a few days prior to the bridge collapsing, there was this photo which I'm going to try to edit in here, and oh, you can just set it there. <laughs> um, but a very infamous, but a very famous case of back in nineteen eighty two, I think it was something around that time where in West Virginia Point Pleasant, a pre one of us one of the most old bridges there and the clap collapsing out of no real reason and killed a lot of people. Well, what made this whole case such inter such interesting is a few days prior to the bridge collapsing, collapsing, there was a, there's a there's a picture of this, which I can try to add in here. A picture of the uh, the bridge prior. Uh, so on the bridge, it's basically just an average picture from the side of it, and just it's nothing really special. That is until someone noticed something off about this picture. In the top hand corner, the top corner in one of the beam on one of the connecting beams of the towel, there is there is seen to be a there's seen to be a figure figure touch like holding on or just like standing on the weird things there and it's and it it's there. Eh, and it's said to got the looks and fit the description fit the, fit, uh, fit the description of the famous Mothman which is really why I think people was just such so intimidated by this creature and just like like I said with the whole thing it kind of opens up the door to the specialty of creatures like this and uh, that's Really, the best I got to say, but hopefully, uh, hopefully by next week I'll have a better take of this. And yeah, so if you enjoyed this, if you didn't enjoy it, uh, I hope you did, and good day.